Hey friends, I'm Liz Holtzman, and you're listening to The Simplified Podcast. If you're looking for a quiet place where you can filter out the noise and the hustle, this is it. Every week, we invite you to slow down and join us to explore practical ways to organize and automate the complicated parts of life so you can focus on what truly matters most. It is officially the best time of the year. We just launched an adorable holiday capsule collection at Simplified. We have a couple sweatshirts that you're absolutely going to love. They are silky soft inside, lightweight, and perfect for cozy lounging at home or wearing with jeans on some festive errands. And I'm pretty sure that I'm going to use the Nutcracker mug until June, and I'm really not sorry about it. You can shop this limited edition collection right now over at emilylay.com. It's happening, you guys. As we pack our carts with candy for trick-or-treaters and put the finishing touches on our Halloween costumes, I swear I can hear the faint echoes of Mariah Carey in the background just waiting to belt out the welcome to the Christmas season on November 1st. It happens every year, and it's the first signal my brain has to say, the JV version of the holidays is over. Welcome to the big leagues. The winter holidays are here. It's so fun to lean into the seasons, isn't it? I love putting mums and pumpkins by the front door and watching the neighborhood transform into a spooky Halloween village that very quickly then transforms again into a Christmas wonderland. And it's even more fun to do all of this with my son Bennett for the very first time. It's really interesting for me to see how these rituals have changed over the years, especially now that we have social media showing us the fall traditions and Halloween displays and how other people are decking the halls, not only in our own neighborhoods, but across the world. The most over-the-top things get pushed to the top of the algorithm, naturally, which can give you a sense that in order for your celebration to count, everything needs to be a little extra. And it doesn't help that brands spend a bunch of ad dollars to keep you thinking that you also need a bunch of stuff to celebrate the season two. For weeks and months, it seems like this is the story. Every time you log into your social accounts, you see all the themed snacks and all the decked out living rooms and all the dazzling light displays and think, oh my gosh, that is so cute. And then crap, I don't have that. Nope, 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 nope. That stops here. Listen, friend, I am a millennial who has lived this story over and over again. And you know what? I'm really starting to get tired of feeling this way every holiday season. Like this creeping feeling of this is getting to be too much and I don't feel like I'm having fun anymore. Do you feel that way? Of course you feel that way. You weren't made to consume things 24-7. You weren't made to go extra on the holidays when you have the rest of your life to live and figure out. You don't need that kind of pressure. Our team got to talking a couple months ago and we figured out that we all love and also at times loathe this time of year. So we asked ourselves, what could we do to let go of what annoys us and embrace what we love about the season? And once we talked about what we could do, it was amazing how much better we all felt. Sometimes all it takes is giving yourself permission to not do the most or to be super extra and letting yourself lean into just the small, simple things of the season. That is by far the easiest way I have found to reclaim the joy I used to feel around this time of year when I was little. So I'm going to share some of the things we talked about that day so that you can simplify your own season in your own home. So here we go. Do something your future self will thank you for. One of the easiest ways we can begin to simplify the busy season is to look for ways to help our future selves to take one thing off her plate. So that might look like making a huge pot of the soup that you love and freezing half of it for later. P.S. If you need some good soup ideas, head back to episode 83 with Brie McCoy, who is the literal queen of soup. Thank me later. That could look like stocking up on things you know that you'll need during the holiday season, like wrapping paper, tape, a good pair of scissors that none of your kids will steal, or even buying gift cards in bulk for those emergency gifts. That might look like deciding what's on your holiday bucket list this year and letting go of everything else that isn't on that list. 
That also might look like scheduling an afternoon by yourself this weekend so you can get away to do whatever you would like, including a nap, because naps. A big part of making sure you can enjoy the holidays is to make sure that you're taking very good care of yourself. That means checking in every once in a while to see what's coming up in your schedule and seeing how you can make future you's life just a little bit easier. Romanticize your life. The best things in life really aren't that fancy. They're small and sweet and good, and they are really truly all around us if we just allow ourselves to look for them. You might have seen this on social over the past couple of years, and for good reason. Because making sure you take time to literally smell the roses, or even just buying yourself a bouquet of them at the market in the first place, is a really small but simple way that you can spark joy in the middle of your day. There are tons of ways you can romanticize your life, but here are a few of our favorites. You can enjoy a seasonal treat, like ordering your favorite fall coffee or baking a batch of your favorite cookies. I was walking through Costco the other day and saw some apple cider donuts, and I grabbed them. I put them in my cart because how fun to have a donut on a Wednesday morning. You can spruce up your house with a bouquet of fresh flowers or opening the windows on a crisp weekend morning or lighting a candle or even the fireplace. You can get cozy by putting on a new pair of cute pajamas after a shower or snuggling up with a good book and a fuzzy blanket or watching a movie without your phone. Try it. You can even romanticize your life outside the house. Try to compliment a stranger or go on a hike on a sunny day and photograph something beautiful. Bonus points if you go for a delicious meal or treat afterwards. Enjoying your life doesn't have to be complicated or something out of an unrealistic rom-com. Like Meg Ryan reminded us in You've Got Mail, sometimes even a bouquet of freshly sharpened pencils will do the trick. Choose a few ways to go the simple route during the holidays. Listen, do you really want to simplify your season? Then make this decision right here, right now. Decide to go big on what matters and go simple on what doesn't. You may choose one thing to go simple on. You may choose three or five or 10. Whatever you need to do to keep your enjoyment of the season high and your stress low, do those things. Here's what the simple route might look like for you this season. Think of it as swapping out something complicated for a little bit more time. For you, the simple route might look like placing online grocery orders for delivery instead of pickup. It might look like store-bought cookie dough and decorations for the cookie swap. Actually, it might look like store-bought literally anything this season, whether it's appetizers for the party or dessert for the big day, or even ordering your entire meal from your favorite restaurant's catering menu so that all you have to do is just go pick it up. If you're into holiday cards but you're running short on time, maybe this year the simple route looks like a postcard or an e-card instead of writing and addressing a pile of letters. When it comes to gifting, maybe your simple route is gifting all your presents in bags this year instead of wrapping them. Maybe you'll decide to send a gift card instead of hunting for the elusive perfect gift. Maybe you decide to give the same gift for all your kids' teachers or all of your coworkers. That is so super simple. Or maybe you do the simplest thing of all and (gasps) you skip hosting duties for the big holiday party this year and let someone else have a turn because that's okay. Seriously, simple this time of year is totally underrated. Go big on what really matters to your family, what they will actually notice and appreciate, and take the simple route on the rest. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. Do you ever find that just as you're trying to fall asleep, your brain suddenly won't stop talking? Um, Hi, my name is Liz and I'm an anxiety survivor. This is 100% me. But it turns out one great way to make those racing thoughts go away is to talk through them. Therapy gives you a place to do just that so you can get out of your negative thought cycles and find some peace. My therapist has been a godsend for me. She's taught me how to ground myself in the moment and remember that I am not my feelings. That is a really hard lesson to remember sometimes, but when I'm in an anxiety spiral and I can remember that I am not my feelings, it actually really does help. 
If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online and designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. So get a break from your thoughts with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash simplified today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash simplified. Bring tidings of comfort and joy to others. There's truly no better way to simplify the season than taking time to simplify why we're doing all of this anyway. We do it to celebrate the connections we have to each other. We remember the people who came before us and we enjoy making memories with the loved ones we have today. And to honor that love we have for each other and for all of humanity really, to me, there is nothing better than to bring comfort and joy to others who might need it this time of year. Whether that's thinking of someone to invite to your celebration or volunteering to sort donations at the food bank or gathering gifts for a family in need, there are so many ways we can pass on the love that we are so blessed to have. All too often, it is so easy to look at the world and feel like we can't help or make a difference when we see so much suffering all around us. But that's not true. We can help the people right here, right where we are. We can make a tangible difference in our own communities by sharing our time and our resources with others. Give yourself the gift of time. Can I get an amen? I don't have to tell you that this time of year is bananas for your schedule. That's why one of the best ways to simplify your season is to check in with yourself and make sure that you are not giving away too much of your time. How do you know if you are? If you feel frustrated pretty often, that's a pretty good sign. If you see your family stress levels climb as you get ready for yet another event you feel like you have to go to. If you find yourself wanting to hide in the pantry with your peppermint Hershey kisses for a few minutes of silence, that's a pretty good indicator too. I know this totally makes me sound like Scrooge, but I really don't care. It is true. The best gift you can give yourself this holiday season is enough time to enjoy it. There is no reason to run yourself or your people ragged if you can't enjoy the season. So make sure that you build enough white space into your schedule for spontaneous holiday magic to weave its way in. You will absolutely thank yourself later. Well, I hope you have gotten a few ideas to make your season a little more simple and a little more sweet. I definitely want to hear how y'all are doing this, so please make sure you leave a comment on the Instagram post for today's episode. All right, friends, let me say a blessing over you as you get ready to get back to your day. As you turn your heart toward the holiday season, I hope you find meaningful ways to connect with your people. I hope you find magic in the small moments, like sharing a laugh with your dad, baking cookies with your brother, and playing board games with your nieces and nephews. And above all, I hope you remember that holidays don't have to be big or flashy or expensive or garner a thousand likes to matter because we find meaning when we relish the love and relationships we share in the moment. This is the part of the episode where we usually give you a little tip you can tuck in your pocket and take with you. So here's what I've got for you today. Want to simplify how you store and give away leftovers after big holiday meals? Get a pack of takeout containers. Whether you get them from Costco or Amazon, Those little plastic takeout containers are going to make your life so simple. Nobody has to remember to return any containers or feel bad about taking one of yours. No regrets, y'all. Reach for the simple things. Hey, thanks for listening to the Simplified Podcast. You can find show notes for this episode over at emilylay.com for more info on links and resources I mentioned here. And you can shop the entire collection of Simplified Planners and Products. You can also follow me on Instagram at Liz M. Holtzman and on Substack at LizHoltzman.substack.com. You can also follow our brand at Simplified for tons of simplicity tips and inspiration to get you through the day. And check out the rest of our Simplify the Season series as we help you make your holiday season a bit more sweet and simple this year. That's all I've got for you today. Be sure to tune in next week for more Simplified goodness. Until next time, I hope you have a great day, friend.